Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. Now when I sat down today to figure out what did I wanted, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. to figure out what I wanted to tie for the channel, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I've got several flies on my list, but I kind of just wanted to have some fun. So I broke out my bag of materials from the craft stores and just started playing around. And one of the flies I came up with looked like a, a really old school North Country spider. And it got me to thinking, you know, the old North Country spiders, we've tied them on this channel before, the things like the partridge in orange or partridge in yellow, partridge in green or starling in red, all these kind of flies that are characterized by a really thin body, uh, can be a dubbing or it can just be a silk, and then a very sparse but long soft hackle. But the issue with these is they're usually tied with a Hungarian partridge, which a partridge skin is about $50, so it's not the cheapest skin out there. But this is where I came up with a kind of cool idea. I was wondering, could we make the same flies, same type flies, with this ringneck pheasant skin? This is about $12, uh, much cheaper than a Hungarian partridge. And as I've said before, it might be one of the best buys out there for fly tying materials. And if you don't have that, well, you can get these same feathers from a craft store. This is a bag that's about half left. So what I got from Michael's was even more than this. And it's basically all the cool feathers on this. You've got some of the church window feathers, some of the blue and greenish, grayish body feathers right here, and then some of these side feathers. All of those are in that one bag that I got from Michael's, probably for about $3. So this fly today, it's tied entirely with materials that I got from the craft store which isn't saying a lot because really only two materials, uh, a little bit of a, an acrylic dubbed body, and then one hackle. And it turned out to look pretty much like a North Country spider. And true, we can officially call it that because it's not. I mean, we could call it a knockoff North Country spider or maybe a poor man's version of a spider. But I think it turned out okay. And it just goes to show us that there's more than one way to create some of these old fly patterns. And one more use from a ringneck pheasant feather. So even though it may be a knockoff fly, it's still a pretty cool pattern, and I think it's going to be a fish catcher, and I think you'll like it. Let's give it a shot. So there you go. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty much like an old North Country spider? And I am tying it on a size 12. It's 1x long, 1x strong, barbless wet fly hook. And I'm going to be using black thread. So I'm going to go ahead and put a base down, take it all the way back to the not the start of the bend, because it's not a real long body, but probably to the point. So, well, let's go about right there. Maybe a little bit farther back than the point. Now let's put some dubbing, dub the body on here. Since this one is a pheasant and orange, we're gonna put some orange acrylic yarn. Just some of this right here. If you've got any orange super fine, that would work just fine, but you want some real thin stuff, and we're not putting it on here thick at all. We're just basically putting it on as thin as we can to still cover up this black thread. So basically just coloring our thread with a little bit of dubbing. So what I do here, I will take a couple of wraps until the dubbing starts laying, and then I can pull it tighter and spin it a little bit. And I might, it might take a couple of applications to get this up here, but see, this is just a very thin layer of orange. And I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. Okay, I think that's fine. Very thin body, not a whole lot to it. Now, for the hackle, there's many feathers you can use out of this ringneck pheasant skin, out of this bag of feathers. But I really like these with the bluish green metallic tips on it. And you'll notice there's not a whole lot of this feather you can use. You've got a lot of this uh, marabou type stuff on the bottom. Just go ahead and strip this all off. And you're left with just the, the hackle-like fibers. And what I'll do here, I'll grab it by the tip, I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So I'm creating this little V notch right there. And we could tie it in just like this and wrap it, but that's going to give you a little bit too much. Uh, a little bit. So what I will do, I will just strip them off of one side. Now I've got a feather that looks like this. It's only got the, the barbs coming off of half of it. And I'm going to catch it in with the tip forward. 
two or three wraps. Now this feather is not brittle, it's very pliable, but it's not real strong, so you still have to be careful with it. So we got this caught in, get our thread out of the way up there. Now let's go ahead and snip off the, the tip. Now we're gonna wrap this. So this should be enough to get us uh, three wraps maybe, and I think that's gonna be fine. Take your hackle pliers if you need, and we'll just wrap it around and then preen them back as we go. One wrap right in front of the other. You see they're gonna be splayed out just like the old North Country spiders. That's really what we want. So just wrap it until you have no more barbs coming off, which I think is about, I got almost three wraps right there. And two thread wraps, we'll go ahead and um, catch that in. And I just looked at my monitor, what's that fluff under there? Did I nick my thread? I very well might have. I do that from time to time. So, but I don't see a, a, a soft spot in my thread, so maybe not. Okay, just pull these back a little bit, but don't take your thread back too far because we don't want a big swept back uh, hackle. We still want it to be coming out almost perpendicular to the, the fly, like the, the true old North Country spiders. So, see what we've got right there? Are they coming all the way around it? Yeah, pretty close. But we do have a little bit of fluff. I don't really like that feather right there, that barb. Let's pull that one out. And a few more wraps right here. Get, get them swept back a little more than this, maybe. Okay. Now we've got room to whip finish, and we've got a, a very soft, hackleish looking uh, spider. So four or five turns right here and some head cement, and this guy will be ready for the fly box. So that's it, a very simple fly. It's gonna fish pretty much like the 300 year old spiders do, but it's not a partridge, it's a pheasant. So that's it everybody. Pretty neat pattern, very easy to tie. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.